Mental fatigue and burnout is almost like the epidemic of the century. Some of the brightest people with immense energy and passion go through this phase of extreme exhaustion which might last for months if not years. Often we attach ourselves and our ability to be happy on a desired outcome only to find ourselves disappointed when that outcome doesn't happen. Learn how you can let go and start living from a place of happiness. When you are attached to an object, a goal, a dream or another person, you can feel that if I don't have that, I won't be whole. And this creates a lot of feelings including anxiety, fear, anger, jealousy, hopelessness, sadness, disconnection and the list is endless. Detachment reveals the great paradox of life. In order to acquire something, you have to relinquish your attachment to having it. When you recognize that the only genuine source of security is living as your true self, then you can more easily detach. But what exactly is meant when we talk about detachment? True detachment allows for deep involvement because of the lack of attachment to outcome. Many people are attached to relationships, money, social status, jobs and many many more things in life. Basically anything you can use to describe who you are and who you can be is a sign of attachment. How to detach? Let me quickly share a few ways to begin practicing detachment. Firstly, distinguish between ego and actuality. Your ego might tell you not getting the job you want or not achieving a goal has ruined your career, ruined your prospects. The actuality is you are disappointed because you didn't get something you wanted. Nothing has changed except your thoughts about your future potential. The actual situation is the same as it was prior to not getting the job or accomplishing your goals and you can still advance your career and life. Secondly, detach from work. Detachment from work means that when you leave your workplace, you leave your work-related worries there. Detachment from work means that you do not define your personal worth too closely to your performance at your workplace or to the validation that you receive at work. Detachment from work means that you do not rely on work alone to give you a feeling of completeness and to provide meaning to your life. When you go about attaching your happiness, your existence and your life's meaning too deeply with your work, your relationships or anything else for that matter, you put yourself at risk. Thirdly, observe your mind. Become aware of what kind of thoughts you habitually think. What things or descriptors do you identify with the most? Become a student of self. Watch yourself closely. Heighten your awareness of where attachment happens more frequently for you. Recognize attachment comes with an emotional charge. Notice where you feel this charge in your physical body. Meditate on it. Meditation is a vehicle to help your mind release patterns of thought and action that no longer serve you. Spend some time in meditation each day and watch how the patterns in your life begin to change. The first step in making change is recognizing what it is to you and what is it that you want to change. 
instead of getting frustrated or disappointed when you fall back into an old habit celebrate that you are now noticing when you repeat the pattern of thought or habit in time this will allow you to transform your behavior when you begin living a life that starts with happiness from an internal place rather than attaching your ability to be happy on external conditions then you have understood detachment remember it's merely a practice there is no way to detachment it's merely repeated action without expected outcome our thoughts are just thoughts they are not the ultimate truth or reality <laughs>